Okay, students, you can see the example program uh, in the SIC XA right now, for which uh, we'll generate the object code uh, or object program for this. Okay, as usual, before you start doing the past one, so first you have to just go through the program. If you just go through the program, you'll get to know which are all the instructions belongs to format one, format two, or the three and the four, and you should also, or you will also understand what are the different addressing modes which uh, you are using. OK, so it will be quite good. So if you start just a glance once before you start directly jump into the actual process. OK, now. So if you see this completely one one instruction where it like, you know, uh, there is one mnemonic symbol called as a base here. You can observe this. Is, so in your programs, if you have such kind of base, so for this it is only to demonstrate. I repeat, this is only to demonstrate or saying that it is belongs to which what is belongs to table two is belongs to the base register or table two is stored in the base register wherein this instruction will not be executed i repeat this instruction will not be executed this is only to demonstrate that the address of the table two is stored in the base register i repeat the address of the table two is stored in the base register that's it so you this pro this instruction will not be executed right now let us start assigning the addresses. So first address is what 000, zero, zero as usual. So because the starting address it is given as zeros. So here it is given as zero. You can observe. So the starting address is zero. So the you will start assigning again. See these are the two instructions belongs to format three. I hope if you understood my previous examples, then doing this is so easy for you guys. Okay. Even if you have any queries also, you can ask me in between as usual. No problem, right? These are the two instructions belongs to the format three. So I'll directly allocate a three bytes to it. So it is 003 and 006. Now can anyone of you let me know which which format is this? It is plus LDB table two. Format four, so definitely it is format four because it is the mnemonic symbol is preceded with the plus. So for which you need to allocate four bytes. When you allocate four bytes to the six, you will get a plus G. I repeat 6 plus 4 is a 10 is nothing as a in the hexadecimal but mind about it my dear i am not going to write here i'll be writing as so 0 0 a here because i as i mentioned this base instruction will not be executed as i mentioned base instruction will not be executed so you don't have to assign the address even you don't have to generate any object code for this base instruction mind about it okay so that I'll be reading 6 plus 4 is A. That A I'll be reading directly in the this instruction, not for the base instruction. Clear? Students, is it clear why I'm not assigning the address for the base instruction? Yes, sir. Again, as usual. So this is these are the uh, th these are the instructions belongs to the format three for which I just try to allocate a three bytes only. So A plus three. It is what you get as a plus 3 is d again a d plus 3 so because a is what 10 and 10 plus 3 is 13 30 is nothing as d again 13 plus 3 is 16 so 16 is nothing as double zero one zero again plus 3 is double zero one three again plus 3 is what double zero one six now again you got you got one more instruction as you can observe which is plus sta total I repeat this is plus ESTA total which is again a format 4 for which you need to allocate 4 bytes. So next address would be 001A instead of 0019 you will get as 001A. Then again so as usual so about this RSM so basically when you talk about only the format or only the opcode so this would this supposed to be format 1 but until unless it has to make use of the address is present in the linkage register RSM will not be executed. In that perspective, this answer will be considered as format three. So this I, I spoke about this in detail in the last class as well, right? And answer will be considered as format three for which you'll be allocating three bytes. So one A plus three is what you got one one D. One A plus three is what one D. Again, so count reserve word one. So it means to say that you'll be allocating how much? You'll be allocating one word. One word is nothing as three bytes. So you'll get as zero zero. Uh, 1D plus 3 is this 1D plus 3 it is 20. I repeat 1D plus 3 it is 20. Now is the situation which is very very important. My dear students, try to look into it and understand clearly. Now you can observe. Let me take it in the decimal first. Okay. Now you can observe reserve word 2000. I repeat. 
repeat it is reserve word 2000 2000 words you are allocating i repeat you are allocating 2000 words 2000 words means how many bytes it is 2000 into 3 because each word is of 3 bytes so totally 6000 bytes you will be allocating so you have to add 6000 to this 2 20 but 6000 is in the decimal for which you have to convert to the hexadecimal when you convert that 6000 to the hexadecimal you will get as 1770 so this 20 plus 1770 you will get as 1790 you will get as 1790 students did you understand how did you get this 1790 yes sir so this 1790 is the uh, next address again table 2 reserve word 2000 again same way when you take this 2000 words means 6000 bytes i repeat 2000 words is nothing as 6000 bytes because this will you need to multiply by 3 so when you multiply 2000 into 3 you will get as 6000 i repeat 6000 6000 bytes but 6000 when you take that 6000 as usual so in the in the decimal 6000 it is nothing as in the hexadecimal it is 1770 that 1770 when you add that to the previous address which is 1790 you get as what 2f00 i repeat you are getting as 2f00 I hope you guys are getting how you are getting this 2f00 also. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. It is as same as because for these two instructions, you are allocating almost 2000 words means it is 6000 bytes. That 6000, if you convert to the hexadecimal, you will get as 1770. That you are adding to the previous address, right? Now again the last one, which is total reserve word one. So you as as usual, you will be allocating only one word. One word means three bytes. So that when you add that three bytes, you will get 2f03. so that's how we have generated the or we have not generated assigned the addresses for the different instructions right we are done with the pass one students did you understand this pass one address allocation yes sir anybody has any doubts still here okay if you don't have any doubts still here in the sense then i'll take you to the object code generation then again so at the time of object code generation as well at the time of object code generation as well so again you can observe this are the first instruction is format 3 so let me take you to the uh, format 3 you can observe in this example program which i'm considering right here I, it has only the format 3 and the 4 instructions only so this so this plus ldb and this plus sta these are the two format 4 instructions rest all are format 3 instructions we do not have any format 2 instructions in in this program if you observe clearly so only i told you at the beginning itself before you start doing the pro, uh, you know a process uh, either it can be address assignment or the object code generation first look at the program just go through the program from every instructions in the program then you can understand clearly you can have the clear cut idea okay now so when i take up this ldx has zero so as i am doing some like in you know, fourth example right here so i'll let me go somewhat fast so to cover more examples as well so here it is ldx ldx what is opcode of ldx it is what you can observe it is 04 ldx is what 04 so i hope this uh, opcodes are different so okay fine no issue whatever it is required i will keep rest if whatever it is not available we'll get it no problem okay add i want sta i want add r i don't need compare i don't need jlt i want whatever it is not there we will get it no issue but in in your exam point of view you will get as usual because i had uh, consider this upcodes from the previous example directly no issue now ldx has zero so again ldx what is upcode of ldx this 04 so outright 04 it is 0 and 01 is 04 because 0100 is 4 right again as usual it is a hash zero so it is immediate so for which n is 0 and i is 1 and is it not making of any x register now coming to the e so e definitely it is zero because it is a format 3 as it is format 
then again how to find out the displacement so as we have specified in the previous uh, example also so we had given this formula if you ever remembered so displacement is nothing else the upper end address minus pc value whereas here the upper end is zero and what is the address of the zero nothing i repeat address of the zero is not zero address of the zero is nothing because the zero is the a direct value so as it is a direct value there won't be any kind of address for address of it so zero itself will act as the displacement so i'll write as zero zero so zero zero and zero and for finding out this displacement i neither made use of base register nor a program counter register so both b and the p will be zero zero so what is the object code you got first four bits it is zero next four bits you see, you see zero one zero one it is five again zero again zero 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 that's the object code for ldx hash zero i hope you guys are getting next if i take you to the next instruction which is lda hash uh, lda hash uh, zero okay if i take you to the lda hash zero what is the output of lda it is the uh, zero zero okay i repeat ld output of lda it is zero zero when i say that it is the output of output of lda a it is zero zero so how to write it is zero zero followed by zero zero right i hope you guys are getting my point so it is zero zero then as usual it is uh it is not uh, like you know, it is uh, it is immediate address mode so n is zero and i it is one so again it is not making use of any x register so it is format three and coming to the displacement again same process same story for finding out the displacement so we like you know you need to have operand address but here the operand is zero which doesn't have any address it is a direct value so that itself will become a displacement so zero followed by zero followed by zero that's the operand sorry that's the displacement and for finding out this you neither made use of base register nor the nor the uh, program counter so that's the object code for you so what is the object code it is first four zeros it is zero next we can observe it is triple zero one so it is one again zero again zero 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 that's the object code for lda hash zero i hope you guys are getting my point if not you can ask me right next you have you can observe it is plus ldb so as you have it is plus i repeat as you have plus it is a format four as you have plus it is format four so what is the output of ldb here it is not written so let me write it ldb ldb it is 68 the output of ldb it is 68 how to write 68 it is 0101106 and 8 is 10 because one triple zero is supposed to be so i am writing as 10 again followed by it is hash table my dear students understand this this you have to understand this so only i'm from, from every example to example i'm just going to the next implementation next parameters i'm bringing so here if you observe this hash zero hash table both are immediate addressing mode itself but address of zero is nothing but address of table 2 is there is something that for that i'll come to that point now it is hash table 2 it means to say that it is immediate so n is zero i is one and is it making use of x register no so coming to the e as usual so when you when you say when you speak of e for format 4 because here we are talking about the format 4 for because it is plus ldb for format 4 e will be 1 and what about the b and the p even if you ask me what is the b and the p i have told you this in the previous class as well the base relative and the program counter relative will be applicable only for the format 3 instruction and whereas here we are talking about format 4 instruction so both will be 0 0 format for the format 4 instruction b and the p will be directly 0 0 now coming to the displacement what is the displacement in case of uh, format 4 the displacement is nothing as operand address itself i repeat operand address itself will be the uh, displacement what is that operand address here what is the operand here it is a table 2 my dear students this is where you should have the difference hash 0 hash table 2 both are immediate addressing only but 0 doesn't have the address whereas table 2 has address because 0 is a direct integer whereas table 2 is not an integer it is the a parameter variable which has the memory address it is 1790 i repeat it is 1790 you have to write as 1 7 7 9 0 that's what 1790 is the address of the uh, table 
to but even if you write as 10 uh, 1790 it is of how many bits it is of only a uh, 16 bits you can observe it's of only 16 bits but in our format 4 the displacement length okay in the format 4 displacement length is of 20 bits so in order to make this displacement to be 20 bits add 40 zeros at the beginning add 40 zeros at the beginning to make it as 20 bits so the this, uh, the operand is stable to The address of that is 1790. Even if you write in the bits format, it is of only 16 bits. So to make it as 20 bits, we are add, having one one more or a few more zeros at the beginning, right? Based on this, what is the object code you got? It is six. First bit is first four bits. It is six. Next four bits is one double zero one. It is nine. Next you have triple zero one. It is one followed by zero one seven nine zero. That's the object code of the LDB hash ten. students are you getting yes sir yes sir so that's the object code for ldb hash uh, table 2 again as i mentioned already so for this uh, base to base instruction you don't need to assign any address at the same time you don't need to generate any object code the reason that this will not be executed anymore it is as same as the comments in your normal programs in your programs you will be having comments right which will not be only for the user understandability it will not be executed here also your assembler will never process this kind of base instruction so you don't have to generate any object code for this base instruction okay in that perspective let me directly take you to this add table to comma x so if i take you to the add table to comma x again it is a format 3 okay it is a format 3 my dear now understand this is very very important topic which i am going to talk right now what is the op code of add it is 18 so 1 and 8 then is it immediate or indirect it is neither immediate nor indirect so both n and i will be 11 1. again it is means of x register so it is indexed now let me leave the b and the p space and e is definitely it is zero because it is format 3 because it is format 3 instruction so format for format 3 instruction e it is zero now coming to the last one which is the displacement how to find out the displacement in format 3 instruction this is what the formula we have which is the operand address minus the pc value when you talk about the operand address minus the pc value what is the operand here you have to find out right here what is operand the table 2 is the operand i sorry not table 2 it is a table table is the operand what is address of the table you can observe it is 0020 i repeat 0020 so i'll write as 0020 is the operand address minus pc value as i am working with this instruction what is the pc it will be pointing to the next instruction next next instruction so the address uh, it is 000d so it is 0020 minus 000d when you subtract this which is 20 minus i repeat it is 20 minus d what is the value you are going to get so 20 minus it is 00 just a minute yeah 002d not 2d it is 20 minus d 20 minus d you are getting as 13 let me write as 013 so when you subtract 20 minus d you are getting as uh, you know what 13 so let me i have to write as zeros 1 and 0001 is 3 again for finding out this displacement i made use of which register it is the pc so p will be 1 and b will be 0 based on this what is the update code first four bits is 1 next four bits is what you can observe 1011 it is b again you can observe it is 1010 it is a again 013 that's the update code of add table comma x now let me take you to the add table 2 comma x understand add table 2 comma x my dear students which is very very important try to understand i'm talking i'm taking you guys to this add table 2 comma x as usual add is what the uh, op code of add is 18 so 001 and 10 it is neither indirect nor immediate and it is making of x register now b and the p let me leave space and it is format 3 so it is 0 now, now how to find out displacement as usual operand address what is the operand here my dear students it is the table i repeat table is the operand oh, sorry table 2 is the operand table 2 is the operand what is the address of that it is 1790 so 
the address of the date is 1790 minus the PC value. What is the PC here? As I'm working with this instruction right here, what is the PC? It is 10. It is what? 10. So it is 0010. When you subtract this 1790 minus 10, what is the value I'm going to get? That's a very important point, my dear students. When I subtract 1790 minus 10, what I'm going to get? I'm going to get as 1780. But how to fit this 1780 into the 12 bits? Try to understand my dear students. How to fit this 1780 into because it is a format 3 and in the format 3 for displacement you have only 12 bits. And if at all if you want to fit this uh, 1780 into the uh, you know what 12 bits it is not possible because in order to fit 1780 you need 16 bits. Students, is it clear what I'm saying? To, to fit 1780, you need 16 bits. You can't fit into the 12 bits. Are, are, you, getting, are you getting my point? Yes, sir. At the same time, I also told you, if you ever remember, whenever we'll be working with this, so as we have the two modes, like you know, PC mode and also the base relative and the PC relative, this and uh, if you ever remembered, what is the maximum capacity of your uh, PC relative? Did you remember? It is minus some value to the plus some value. The displacement can be maximum of some value. I told you that. Yes, if you ever remembered. 482. What was that? It is minus 2042 plus 2047. Exactly. 2047. But those 2048 and 2047 are in the decimal. Now, if you ever I hope you can see my screen as well. Try to understand my dear students. In the decimal, I'm talking about, so when if any address is related, is belongs to the PC relative mode in the sense, then it is not supposed to be more than 2047. 2047 in the decimal is nothing else than in the hexadecimal, it is 7FF. I repeat, it is 7FF. When I say 7FF, so this, this is your, uh, displacement or you see upper, uh, your displacement or you say relative address should not be more than this in case of PC mode. So it is in the other you see there are two there are two ways I'm just trying to illustrate my dear students understand the first way is that when you did normally like you know operand address minus PC value you got as what 1780 and it, these in order to fit this 1780 in the form of bit format you need 16 bits but in the format 3, you have only 12 bits. You can't neglect the bits as well. There is no story of neglecting the bits. So you cannot fit 1780 into the 12 bits. What is the solution? What you have to do? Question mark. For that question mark. Second, that's the first, first question mark. Second thing is that as I already mentioned, in case of PC mode, you can only have maximum of 2047. 2047 in the decimal is nothing else than the 7 FF in the hexadecimal. So your relative address should not exceed this 7 FF. Now is it not exceeding? 1780 is exceeding the 7 FF. I repeat, 1780 is exceeding the 7 FF. So this, this instruction, which is add table to comma X, this instruction, it cannot be a PC mode. You cannot find out the displacement by using this. So this is not possible. I hope you get your get your understanding what I'm trying to convey. This 17890 minus when you do this, you are reading 1780, which is exceeding your PC capacity. PC value should I mean say a PC relative. You in case with respect to your PC relative, your address should not exceed this 7 EFF. If it is exceeding, you have to make use of base relative. I repeat, you have to make use of base relative. For the base relative, for the base relative. So First point is clear. I hope it is clear. So you are getting ex more value, maximum value than your PC mode. So it is exceeding your PC relative value. So it can you cannot make it cannot be base PC relative. It must be a base relative for which I am setting B as one and P as zero. I repeat B as one, P as zero. Then how to what about this displacement? As I said, you this one seven eight zero cannot be a displacement. Then what is the displacement? 
for which it sell so how to find out in the sense as usual i'll say operand address i'll simply say that oa operand address minus the instead of pc value it is the base address instead of the instead of pc we will be using that as base address this is the formula which i am going to use but in order to make use of this formula i repeat in order to when i say this formula it is as same as what is the operand address my dear students the operand is table 2 what is the address of the table 2 it is as usual 1790 minus minus base address what is the base address a question mark what is the base address then base address is what is the base address means this is where what you are loading to the base base register my dear students it is the address of table 2 it is loaded to the base what is address of table 2 it is 1790 so your operand address and your base address both are same when you subtract 1790 and 1790 what you are going to get it is the zero so that is the displacement and which is belongs to base relative not the pc relative students are you getting this yes sir understand clearly my dear students so when you did normally the by making of this so you you got as 1780 which is exceeding your pc value which is exceeding your pc relative and also in the normally also if you look into it 1780 you cannot fit into the 12 bits so it is not possible so in the like that in the both the ways you can conclude 1780 you can't fit into the 12 bits second way is that it is exceeding the your pc value i mean it's a pc relative like uh, capacity so it cannot be a pc mode it will be a base mode you have to think of base relative when you think of base relative so when you think of base relative you will be finding out this placement by using this operand address minus base address here the operand is table 2 the address of that is 1790 what is the base address means right here you will be loading the address of table 2 itself to the base register so base register address is also 1792 1790 and operand address is also 1790 when you subtract it you are going to get as what zeros i hope you guys are getting my point if you are not understanding please ask me students is it clear yes sir yes sir now if you are clear with that so what is update code it is what 1 you can see 1 101 1 0 is b again you got this double 1 double 0 it is c followed by 0 0 0 that's the update code right next let me take you to the uh, ticks count okay next uh, you know let let us uh, take you to the ticks count what is the op code of a uh, ticks okay here the point is that what is the op code of ticks yeah the op code of ticks is 2c op code of ticks is 2c when i say 2c how to write 2 it is 00 102 and c is what double 1 because double 1 double 0 is c then again as usual it is neither immediate nor indirect so it is not using x as well and it is the format 3 yeah find out the operand address now you do it normally first first preference you should give like to like this to the pc mode itself so you should you would find out normal way itself like as operand address minus the pc value so what is operand here my dear students count is the operand what is address of the count it is 001d so 001d is the Operand address minus PC value. What is the PC value here? It is the one three because you are working with the tick. You are working with the ticks count. So next address is zero zero one three. Zero zero one three. When you do, when you subtract zero zero one D. When you subtract, uh, yeah, one D minus one three. You got us Y. You are getting us Y. Let me write as zero zero Y. So it is zero 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 and one zero one zero. this a so what is object code it is you can observe it is 2 and 4 ones i repeat is 4 ones it is f okay and also for finding out this uh, uh, displacement what uh, register you made is you made use of pc itself not the base so again it is 0020 so 0010 is 2 again you have 00a that's the object code for you again next instruction if i take up 
which is JLT loop. What is the opcode of JLT? It is 38. So double zero double one is three and one zero is eight. Again, it's neither immediate nor indirect. It's not using X as well. Again, it's format three. Again, find out the displacement. How to find out operand address minus PC? What is operand here? It is a loop. Loop is the operand and it is zero 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 A minus a PC value. A PC value is because as you are working with this JLT loop, so PC value is one six. So when you subtract zero zero A minus zero zero one six, definitely you are going to get the negative value. That negative value you have to represent in the two's complement. That story I had already taught in the previous uh, examples. So again and again, let me not speak about that itself. You need to subtract 000a minus 0016. The, you will get the negative value. That negative value you will be representing in the twos complement. Wherein you represent in the binary, take the ones complement, add one to it, you will get the twos complement. Okay. Now I am just making I am just doing uh, directly, but that's how you'll be representing in the twos complement. Okay. 00a minus 16. You are going to get as you can observe it is F F4. Repeat is you are getting as F F4. When you represented in the two's complement, you are getting as F F4. So it is F and F and 4 is this. This is the 4. Right? So what is the object code? It is 3 B. Again, as usual, for finding out this, you made use of PC itself, not the base register. So 3B uh, 2 F F4. That's the object code for you. Next, we have STA total. Students, still here, is it clear? Yes, yeah, so. sir. Now, I'll be telling you which is very, very important point right now, my dear students. Understand clearly. Per suppose, as I have now, it is the STA total is what? It is plus STA. So as it is plus STA, definitely it will be a format for. I'll tell you something which is very, very unique point which is uh, you have to understand yeah, as it is plus STA. So it is definitely it is a format four, right? It is a format four, right? So because it is a plus and what is the upcode of STA? It is zero C. STA it is zero C. OK, how to write that zero C it is zero and C is one double one. Again, it is neither indirect nor immediate. It's not using ease X register and also as we as we spoke so many times for the format four. It is uh, my, uh, like you will not be using any base relative or the PC mode. So it is both are 0, 0, E is 1. And what about the displacement? What, is, what about the displacement, which is nothing else than the operand address? What is operand here? It is the total. What is the address of the total? It is 2F00. Same way. If you write 2, it is 00, 10. Again, F4 once. Again, 0. And 0. That's the a 2F00, but even then it is still 16 bits, but in order to make it as 20 bits, we'll be adding four zeros at the beginning to make it as 20 bits. So based on this, what is the object code you're getting? You can observe it is what? 0, 4, 1, so it is F, again, 0, triple zero, 1 is 1, again, 0, 1, uh, 2, F, double zero. That's the object code for you. For this, yes, STA total. I repeat, for STA total, this is the object code. My dear students, understand this clearly and very, very important. Okay, this is the object code you got. Per suppose, per suppose, this instead of this, if you got as just STA, I repeat, instead of this plus STA, if you would have got as just STA, at that time, whether it will be format 3 or format 4? 3, so. If you don't have this place, in such case, it would be only format three. In that case, how this will be different? And this is only additional point which I'm showing you because you may get such kind of things in your exam. So I'm just showing you as an additional point. OK, for your understanding. OK, for you only for your understanding, I'm pointing here. This is not required to place it here. Right here, I'll just consider that if it is just a like this STA instead of the a plus STA. Let me make it as red color here because this is the additional thing. If it is just STA, normally what is the upcode of the STA as usual? Zeros and double one SC. Again, N will be one, I will be one, X will be zero as usual, and E will be zero. And how to find out the displacement in the format tree? This is how operand address minus PC value. You do that right. When you do it like this, 
understand my dear students when you do like this as apparent address minus pc value what is the apparent here it is the total what is the address of the total it is 2ef00 minus what is the pc value it is what as we are working with this instruction either this instruction a pc value would be 001a just assume b0019 just assume yeah that will be because you will be adding only 3 bits 3 bytes no issue as of now i'm just taking an example right so let it be as 0019 or 1a no problem just i wanted to give that uh, illustration that's it okay so that would be 001a just assume when you subtract 2f00 minus 1a what you are going to get you are getting as what 2e e6 again same way is it like you know, can you fit it in within the 12 bits you can't fit this within the 12 bits my dear students all this i am just giving that as an additional okay so is it clear so however 1780 you can't able to fit into the uh, 12 bits so again you i also i also told you that as 2048 2047 2047 is the maximum limit in the pc mode so even you convert to the hexadecimal it is 7eff and 1790 or 1780 it was greater than this so we went to the base relative i told you here clearly this is where we went to the base relative same way here also when you see this media students when you see this you are getting as what which is almost 2ef uh, not 2ef it is 2e e6 definitely is it not greater than 7eff so it cannot be a i repeat it cannot be a pc mode it supposed to be a base again let's assume again let's assume is it possible is it possible to take up in the base relative what is the how how to find out i told you this is how we will be finding out the in case of base relative as such that operand address minus the base address in this case what is the operand address it is the 2f00 minus what is the base address i told you in the what is there in the base register it is the address of table 2 What is address of table two? You can answer it is one seven nine zero. Address of table two is there in the base register. So address of table two is what one seven nine zero. So one seven nine zero. When you subtract two f double zero minus one seven nine zero, I repeat one sub two f double zero minus one seven nine zero. What you are getting? I am getting as one seven seven zero. Students, is it visible to you all? You are getting as one seven seven zero. guys are you understanding this point yes sir first case i told you this when you normally use this uh, you know uh, operand address minus pc value you got this this is more than the pc value pc relative addressing capacity so you went to the base register and you thought that it can be base relative and again you found when you try to find out the displacement by using the base address still you are getting 1770 again same way how can you fit this 1770 into the 12 bits How can you fit this 1770 into the 12 bits? It is not possible, my dear students, because in the format tree, in the it is of only 12 bits. 1770 is cannot be fit into the 12 bits. Are you understanding? Yes, sir. So, for these kind of reasons itself, we made use of format four, where you extend the the displacement capacity to be a 20 bits. at that time itself you neither made use of base nor the pc mode both will be set as 0 0 and you made use of the uh, displacement you extended the memory capacity to the 20 bits where your 1770 or 2f whatever it can be it can be fit into the 20 bits do, do you understand this point my dear students if instead of this plus sta if it is just a sta it is not possible for you to generate the object code because of this address memory space capacity it you can't it cannot be either pc or it cannot be either base students do you understand this yes sir so if you understood i just uh, delete it off because i don't need all these things only for demonstration i just use this i'll just delete it off so so all these things i am I, as i mentioned i just used only to demonstrate extra i don't need as of now let me delete it off right so now 
if you are, if you understood till here that's so quite good enough now i am taking to the r sub what is the app code of r sub means it is 4f not for 4f it is 4c r r sub it is 4c now again as usual it is 4 and c is double one and it is neither indirect nor immediate no means of using x register or base or p r it is a format tree and again there is no operand here so the operand address would be just a zeros as there is no operand address would be zeros so what is the object code i am going to get you can observe it is 4 and double one double one it is f and 0 0 0 0 that's object code for you for the r sub guys are you understanding the case by case yes so finally writing the object program so when you write the object program so normally so uh, so like you know so many examples even we spoke on this uh, writing the object program as well so as usual we'll be having h followed by the name of the program it is some but you have to leave the space because 2 to 7 is the name of the program you have to leave the space followed by the starting address is 0 again length of the program so the last address is 2f05 sorry 2f03 minus 0 is you will get 2f03 itself 2f03 so that's the head, header record then coming to the text record so where your object code is starting your object code is starting at the zero itself so zero followed by length let me leave space again followed by the object code so it is 0540 zeros followed by 0140 zeros followed by it is 69101790 followed by 1ba 013 you can observe it is a continuous so i don't need to have a gap also here okay. then 1bc 0 followed by a uh, 2f 200a followed by 3b ff 4 followed by 0f 102f 00 followed by 4f 00 that's the, uh, trip, uh, not double zero it is the uh, four zeros yeah that's the text record and finally end record okay even before end record what is the length of the uh, text record you can observe it is 3 3 6 uh, 6 plus 4 is 10 10 plus uh, 13 16 19 uh, 22 22 plus 4 is 26 26 plus 3 is 26 plus 3 is 29 but when you represent that in the you know uh, 29 in the decimal hexadecimal it is 1d so the length of the uh, text record is 1d finally end record e followed by the starting address is the start zero itself that's the object program for you